Mariana Trench, the deepest point on the planet. Are you ready to go down to the deepest point on our Earth? Definitely you need to be inside one of the most advanced submarines. The Mariana Trench is an oceanic trench located in the western Pacific Ocean, about 200 kilometers 124 miles east of the Mariana Islands. It is the deepest oceanic trench on Earth. It is crescent-shaped and measures about 2,550 kilometers or 1580 miles in length and 69 kilometers or 43 miles in width. The maximum known depth is 10,984 meters or about 36,000 feet at the southern end of a small slot-shaped valley in its floor known as the Challenger Deep, making it the point most distant from the water's surface and the deepest part of the trench. If Mount Everest were hypothetically placed into the trench at this point, its peak would still be underwater by more than 2 kilometers or 1.2 miles. At the bottom of the trench, the water column above exerts a pressure of 1,086 bars or 15,750 psi, which is more than 1071 times the standard atmospheric pressure at sea level. At this pressure, the density of water is increased by 4.96%. The temperature at the bottom is 1 to 4 degrees Celsius or 34 to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Floor of trench vents release bubbles of liquid sulfur and carbon dioxide. Temperatures are just above freezing, and everything is drowning in darkness. In there, there are lots of active mud volcanoes, and marine life adapted to pressures 1,000 times that at sea level. In 2009, the Mariana Trench was established as a U.S. national monument. Monothalamea have been found in the trench by Scripps Institution of Oceanography researchers at a record depth of 10.6 kilometers or 6.6 miles below the sea surface. Data has also suggested that microbial life forms thrive within the trench. The expedition conducted in 1960 claimed to have observed, with great surprise because of the high pressure, large creatures living at the bottom, such as a flatfish about 30 centimeters or 12 inches long, and shrimp. According to Picard, the bottom appeared light and clear, a waste of firm diatomaceous ooze. Many marine biologists are now skeptical of the supposed sighting of the flatfish, and it is suggested that the creature may instead have been a sea cucumber. During the second expedition, the uncrewed vehicle Kaiko collected mud samples from the seabed. Tiny organisms were found to be living in those samples. In 2010, the Challenger Deep was pegged at 10,994 meters or 36,070 feet as measured with sound pulses sent through the ocean during a 2010 survey by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA. In July 2011, a research expedition deployed untethered landers, called drop cams, equipped with digital video cameras and lights to explore this deep sea region. Among many other living organisms, some gigantic single-celled foraminiferans with a size of more than 10 centimeters or 4 inches belonging to the class of monothalamea, were observed. Monothalamea are noteworthy for their size, their extreme abundance on the seafloor, and their role as hosts for a variety of organisms. In 2012, film director and deep-sea explorer James Cameron descended to the bottom of Challenger Deep briefly reaching 10,898 meters or 35,756 feet during the 2012 expedition. But he could have gone a little deeper. A high-resolution seafloor mapping survey published in 2014 by researchers from the University of New Hampshire said the Challenger deep bottoms out. In December 2014, a new species of snailfish was discovered at a depth of 8,145 meters or 26,722 feet breaking the previous record for the deepest living fish seen on video. During the 2014 expedition, several new species were filmed, including huge amphipods known as supergiants. Deep sea gigantism is the process where species grow larger than their shallow water relatives. In May 2017, an unidentified type of snailfish was filmed at a depth of 8,178 meters or 26,800 feet. On 8 May 2020, a joint project between the Russian shipbuilders, scientific teams of the Russian Academy of Sciences with the support of the Russian Foundation for Advanced Research Projects and the Pacific Fleet submerged the autonomous underwater vehicle Vityaz D to the bottom of the Mariana Trench at a depth of 10,028 meters or 32,900 feet. 
Vityaz D is the first underwater vehicle to operate autonomously at the extreme depths of the Mariana Trench. The duration of the mission, excluding diving and surfacing, was more than three hours. On the 10th of November 2020, the Chinese submersible Fenduge reached the bottom of the Mariana Trench at a depth of 10,909 meters or 35,791 feet. Like other oceanic trenches, the Mariana Trench has been proposed as a site for nuclear waste disposal in the hope that tectonic plate subduction occurring at the site might eventually push the nuclear waste deep into the Earth's mantle, the second layer of the Earth. However, ocean dumping of nuclear waste is prohibited by international law. Furthermore, plate subduction zones are associated with very large megathrust earthquakes, the effects of which are unpredictable for the safety of long-term disposal of nuclear wastes within the hadopelagic ecosystem. While the number of people that have climbed to the top of Mount Everest, the Earth's highest point, holds somewhere in the thousands, only three divers have ever explored the Challenger Deep. During the expedition conducted in 1960, they were only able to spend 20 minutes there due to the extreme pressures, and their arrival stirred up too much dust from the seafloor for them to take any pictures. The next visitor didn't arrive until over 50 years later in 2012, when filmmaker and science fiction aficionado James Cameron solo dived to the Challenger deep in a submarine he designed himself. Cameron was able to spend three hours there. And of course, he captured video and took many photos, he is a Hollywood filmmaker, after all. The extreme pressures took a toll on his equipment, though. Batteries drained, sonar died, and some of his vessel's thrusters to malfunction, making it hard to maneuver. The ocean's second deepest place is also in the Mariana Trench. The Serena Deep, which lies 124 miles 200 kilometers east of Challenger Deep, is a bruising 10,809 meters or 35,462 feet deep. Unfortunately, in 2019, Victor Vescovo reported finding a plastic bag and candy wrappers at the bottom of the trench. That year, Scientific American also reported that carbon-14 from nuclear bomb testing has been found in the bodies of aquatic animals found in the trench. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe.